Hello friends, welcome to Mathematica Tutorial 7. Today I will tell you the best method and the best practice to solve any differential equation. I mean linear, non-linear, homogeneous, non-homogeneous, stiff, non-stiff or any kind of differential equation. So before I start, I will request you please watch the full video because I have arranged the content beautifully and in very elaborative and descriptive manner. So please do not hurry to write anything because I will give you the link to download this file in a description box. So please watch the full video. It is quite different from any other video you, you may find it any other place. So let me quickly move to the file. I have divided the content in six parts. This whole content is divided into six parts. First part is the solution of max step bridge problem, homogeneous equation. I took the example of homogeneous equation and in second effect of gravity that is the example of non-homogeneous equation. Then I will tell you the command to solve or plot ODE in a for loop. This is uh, again very important how to solve it and why I am doing it I will explain during my uh, demonstration. And second part is command to solve or plot ODE output for loop substitute method this is one kind of method this is substitute method and similar for do loop and substitute method for do loop so let me quickly start with the first part so i will tell you how to kill the maximum step reach problem there is a very famous and very commonly encountered problem of, of solving any differential equation in mathematica is maximum step reach problem so why i am telling it before um, before i go to the best method is that someone has asked me to resolve this problem so so i thought it is relevant to tell it here okay because we are going to use this method for the demonstration purpose okay so i'll tell you how this maximum step reach problem occurs and i'll tell you how to shoot that problem okay to run any code in the mathematica simply press shift and enter okay so you can see here maximum number of time steps reached okay you have given the maximum time is thousand but it is reached here three four four point eight one two six six steps so it didn't reach to the full step what you have given from zero to thousand okay so before i shoot this problem i let me tell you let me explain what my differential equation is my differential equation is simply a matthew equation okay the matthew equation is very simple form of simple pendulum equation if you remove this term this cos omega t suppose i'm deleting this term now it will become a simple harmonic oscillator problem where this is a coefficient of inertial term this is coefficient of drag and this is uh, the coefficient of displacement term it's a very simple equation and i explained these equations very clearly in my previous tutorial the nd solve is a command to solve any differential equation numerically okay so this all is already explained in my previous tutorials okay if you haven't visited it just go and visit it okay fine so how i'll shoot that problem so simply i'll I'll, I'll, I'll take the Matthew equation uh, I'll take little difficult example because I'm telling you how to solve any your differential equation you can write here any differential equation although I took the second order differential equation you can write here third other fourth order any other doesn't matter you can have linear non-linear any kind of equation you can write here and this ND com uh, solve command is able to do it problem which commonly encountered is a max step so I'll tell you how to shoot that problem so it's simply do it M A X max remember M should be the capital so you you will get here max step okay so give here max max step i'm giving you five zero 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 okay i'm giving it and simply press shift and enter and you won't get any kind of uh, maximum step reach problem okay so you can see here a very beautiful output came okay so you the maximum step reach problem is solved okay so here i took the example of homogeneous equation so in case of non-homogeneous equation here i'll have to give some constant value or, or any function anything i can give apart from zero value. we can give any non-zero value or can, we can give any function so let me quickly show you how you can do it so here in i replace zero by a constant term that is called as gravity term so i'll evaluate and quit the kernel i don't want any previously stored values and simply press shift and enter the rest of the equation is same the boundary conditions are same everything is same i kept i just added a non-numerical value in the right hand side okay so this makes the equation non-homogeneous okay so here you can see the output two outputs are because first output is a blue color output that is the output of ordinary differential equation and second output is this just simply i plotted cos t to see that what is the phase shift between these two okay so because of your non-zero term you can see here this non-zero term this your this pattern is shifted 
to uh, some average value suppose i'm keeping it zero okay let me show you because of this uh, homogeneous equation this uh, pattern will directly collapse to this x axis okay. so you can see the average value is zero okay the plot is collapses on the x axis okay so this is the example of non homogeneous equation and this is the example of homogeneous equation now i'll tell you the best way to solve any differential equation to solve any differential equation you can use this command and to plot uh, the output you can use this command now suppose uh, many a times it happens that you want to vary a parameter you want to see the effect of various parameters so in that case what you can do is suppose the pre multiplier of cos t okay is uh, here i kept constant here i kept constant that is 0.3 now suppose i want to vary this uh, from 0.1 to 0.9 or 0.01 to 0.5 now we want to see the output of od for each value okay so suppose i i kept here i um, i by 20 okay i already demonstrated the use of for loop how you can use the for loop so you can take this tutorial as an advanced version of the previous tutorial okay so here i initialize i equals to one and i gave the t max t t max because i need here to give the interval okay zero to t max i want the output of od from zero to hundred and i should be less than 10 this is the your condition and i plus plus this is your propagation or increment okay and here is the main body as i told you in a previous tutorial if you haven't seen this please spend some time it is very worth watching okay you will be able to understand it okay so we can use the for loop to solve the differential equation where we can vary the any constant value okay or pre multiplier of any uh, term suppose i want to vary the pre multiplier of cos t okay i can vary and i can see the output of different coefficients okay so how we can do it let me quickly show you i'll simply run it here okay simply press shift and enter you can see it is showing the output for different values of this pre multiplier so first i will be one then i will be equal to two then i will be equal to three since i less than 10 and i plus plus is equal to i equal to i plus one so it will give 10 different results now let's verify this is one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten 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 different because results okay because i gave different multipliers and this for loop is solving for one particular coefficient and then taking that particular so coefficient it is solving the differential equation so you can see how powerful this method is i'm using it to solving very complicated equations and very com i just simplified it here this is a part of very complicated equation i'll show you the another method that i have already demonstrated in my previous tutorial the use of monitor command okay use this monitor command how to use it for uh, in case of the for loop you can visit my previous tutorial here i'll just give you a brief version i just use the for loop okay this is the complete for loop which we have done uh, in our pre previous example and here simply write monitor and square bracket and then write pause 0.5 p this p is basically representation of the plot so simply we will run it and see how it is beautiful and how it is different from previous method simply press shift and enter so you can see okay it is showing the plot one by one successive time interval here is the successive time interval 0.5 so if you do it two here it will it will wait and hold the plot more longer time than in case of 0.5 just see it here i just run it you can see it is holding a particular uh, result of particular coefficient and solving the differential equation and plotting the output and holding it for sufficient time then it is changing the coefficient and again solving the differential equation from t equal to 0 to 100 and then plotting it okay so this monitor command is very helpful when you want to visualize any outputs quickly okay and similar thing uh, as in case of the for loop similar thing you can do in a do loop also instead of for loop you can use do loop here this is the particular syntax to solve differential equation this is the syntax to plot output of differential equation and this is the syntax how you can use the do loop okay okay it's a very very simple and here here it will show you the result because i'm varying from i is equal to 1 to 10 it is more simple than your for loop command okay it is very uh, understandable and easy to implement okay let me demonstrate it how it is simple simply press shift and enter 
you can see okay different outputs so i will delete the uh, delete all the output and i'll show you how you can see that in with the help of monitor command if to use the monitor command you need not to do anything simple prep, uh, write monitor in square bracket and co copy the do loop uh, syntax and write pause 0.5 comma p p is simply again i store this plot in a p variable okay and i'm plotting every time so here instead of 0.5 we will do it too we have seen earlier okay simply press enter isn't it interesting okay i'll increase the time see how beautifully it is happening you can see one particular plot is the solution of one differential equation for one particular coefficient i hope it will be really very very helpful for you in a future okay so thank you so much guys if you like this video please like comment and subscribe to my channel and once again, thank you so much for watching the video.